Hi, my name is Karen Swanner, the founder of The Official's Mind, the brand new education, training, and integrative research website for officials of all sports. Our website focuses on the concepts of stress, confidence, motivation, communication, and the mind-body connection, and provides the skills to help officials better manage their games. Each month, we have featured articles and videos from experts in their fields, sports psychologists, trainers, athletes, coaches, and other officials who will talk about mental fitness from their perspective. I would encourage you to watch every video, look at every article. There's no better way to learn than from your peers. This month, our training session features a college athlete who's going to talk about the concept of thought stopping and parking from his perspective and talk about how it impacted his career. We also offer classes and the opportunity for your organization to do a research study to address the needs of your members. So often the focus on physical fitness, knowing the rules, the mechanics of the game, but rarely is the mental side of the game taught. We're here to change all that. We will provide a platform to help you improve your game. Welcome to the official's mind. Often in the world of sports, we forget about the mental side for officials or for referees. And the reality is they are out there just like the coaches, just like the players having to make decisions in really high pressure situations. You know, these are split second decisions and we have really high expectations for our referees and for officials. So recognizing that and recognizing that the same tools that we use to help athletes manage that pressure that we help, we use to help coaches learn how to self-regulate, that those same skills and strategies are incredibly important to help referees really handle the pressure of those quick decision moments that they have to be 100% on and focused for long periods of time in a game. You know, they don't get subs. So being able to really handle it from start to finish is important. So when we talk about being healthy, oftentimes it's not just about having, you know, great speed or a chest that sticks out or big biceps or arms. I mean, are we mentally stable? I mean, how much health are we paying to our mental well-being? You know, through use of therapy, counselors, things that are, you know, at our disposal, you know, otherwise. And I, I think it's an area where, you know, maybe in officiating, you don't hear a lot spent on, you know, mental, you know, uh, health. I mean, we talked about mental fitness, you know, and to me, mental fitness is, you know, being able to sustain yourself, know the ins and outs of the game, know where to be to make a call, obviously, know the rules. I mean, how do you react in a given situation as part of your mental fitness? Are you able to handle it when a crowd of 100,000 just rains a chorus of booze upon you? Because for some people, that can take them out of the zone that can take them out of their comfort zones. And now if you're not mentally fit, now we've got to worry about what type of judgment, you know, might be coming from somebody who in a moment of time isn't mentally fit or mentally prepared. So I think physical fitness plays a huge part of it, but also you've got to have that good mental health, uh, spiritual health. I mean, you know, I can't tell anybody how to be spiritually healthy, but as we consider our health, we might as well look at all uh, components of our health, you know, not just physical, not just, you know, mental, but are we, you know, mind, body, soul, you often hear people ask, and if there are demons or issues that we're struggling with, you know, that is part of our fiber or character or something that lacks, that ultimately may come out and show or have an effect on our ability to work a given game in a given moment. I mean, you know, certainly you don't want to have, you know, breakdowns in, you know, morality, but you have to make sure that everything's, you know, clicking on all cylinders so that, you know, we're, you know, we want to be the best suited people to be out there. We need people to trust us, but more importantly, we need people to trust our preparation. So Shane, why do you think that mental fitness is important for sports officials? I think mental fitness is overall overlooked as far as the sports officiating game. Um, a lot of times the official doesn't take that aspect seriously in the game um, for, for a combination of reasons. They're, they're either running late to the game, it's, they have other things on their mind, they had, a, they had an issue at home, they had an issue at work. And just like physical fitness, the mental aspect of the game is very important to success in the game itself. And when you know that they're working really hard and they want to do a good job and they're trying to be fair, 
it just, it just, you just respect them more. But when they try to treat you like you don't know what you're talking about, even though we know this game and we've been doing this game and we played this game and they, they don't have that attitude that is fun that, yeah, I might make a mistake because I'm human. Uh, and, uh, your players might make a mistake too, but we're all going to get through it. It's, it just adds up to the more positive their body language is and their discussion with you is the higher level of respect. And it starts with, even with players, it starts with work ethic. It always, to me, it always starts with work ethic. You came to the game and you showed up and it wasn't just another game. It was like the best game of the day mm -hmm. or the week. Or, you know, if you could say, this is the best, man, I'm really excited to be here because this is going to be the best game I've repped all year. You're like, oh, okay. They're excited. I'm excited. Let's go, you know. And so respect is good. And I think, I think uh, it's what I've told my sons growing up that you aren't what you say you are. You are what you do. So refs want to be respected and coaches want to be respected. So you're only you you're only judged on what you do. So mental fitness, uh, your uh, it'll affect your ability to track pitches from the pitcher when you're behind the plate. Um, you know that's a that's a basically a, a reset your your mental psyche um, pretty frequently throughout the game. Um, you could you know anywhere from 150, 200, 250 pitches um, in a particular game. So um, another one would be to uh, the, it would affect your ability to anticipate where a play um, might cause you to have to go for coverage. Um, we don't typically try to anticipate making a call, um, but you routinely have to anticipate what's going to happen with regard to player movement, um, how the play is going to develop and such. So um, using that, you know, that type of mental fitness um, will certainly help you uh, thrive in that regard. Um, and then another another aspect where I think it comes into play is um, if if you aren't mentally sharp when you're in dialogue with coaches, players, um, or you know sideline personnel. I'm I'm a, I'm a sideline official, so um, I have that all game long. Um, that could that could catch you or trip you up when you're in that conversation in the heat of the moment. Um, you could say, you know, you could state a rule that's that's not correct, or you could. You know, you could say something that would get your get yourself in trouble, you know, or the, a hot mic could pick you up. Um, so those things. So you really have to think about your environment and your surroundings um, and process the words that you're thinking versus what's coming out of your mouth. I think sports psychology is awesome. I think, you know, may, maybe many years ago, people might have thought that was that mental piece, that's taboo. That means you're not strong. That means you're not going to be good. And that is so far from the truth when people realize from you know amateur through professional sports and everything in between that the great ones usually work with sports psychologists and usually work on different mental aspects of the game um you know i, I think that stigma has totally gone away and people realize the value of it 